Hello everybody, here's my mama and she's gonna be making her pork spare ribs recipe for y'all today. But she's gonna be cooking it in the air fryer for y'all. Yeah, I love this thing. But anyway, <clears throat> what we're gonna do, we're gonna uh, fix our sauce in this with uh, brown sugar. You can't see it, there it is. And our barbecue sauce and our Worcester sauce. Can you get it? No. And our salt and pepper. Papa and her talking to his sister real loud in the bedroom. <laughs> Y'all might hear him. And I'm gonna put about, uh, oh, what is this? That's a fourth a cup. Fourth a cup, I don't have my glasses on. Fourth a cup of uh, sugar in it. And this is light brown sugar. Yeah, light brown sugar. Put it in there. Uh, I should just went ahead and put it all in there, but I won't. And then we're going to put some uh, barbecue sauce in here. And what I'm going to do, we're going to mix it all up, and then we're going to uh, put it on the ribs. jumping around he thought it was a dog or something barking <laughs> yeah when you heard me eat with this bottle here all he wants to do is just bite on her hands he's got dozens of toys in there <laughs> see i'm spot rotten let me see here. he wants to be held all the time yep he does yeah, i'm gonna open the lid Got that open but i guess it don't and i'm gonna put this much with it. That's an eighth a cup. In there. I think that'll be plenty. I think that will be plenty. The Worcestershire sauce gives it like the tangy taste and then the brown sugar. Yeah, the sugar gives it the sweet flavor. So we'll put a little bit of pepper in here, a little bit of salt. And we're gonna stir it up here. And then we're gonna put it on our ribs and put them in the uh, air fryer. And this will be like a, it'll have a small cut in the middle of the video after she puts it in there. It might take 20 minutes in there, 30 minutes. I'm not sure how long it'll take, but it shouldn't take longer than 30 minutes. But anyways, we'll cut the video after she puts it in there and then the video will start back. It'll just be like a flash or it'll be like a wave and then it'll, it'll start back into the next part of the video and it'll be her taking it out. But in the next part, we'll tell y'all how long it was in there for. So that way y'all know how long it was in there for. Yeah. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna brush some of this sauce on here. Yeah, and we should have already turned this on and got it uh, preheated, but Oh, yeah. We didn't do that yet. Okay, we'll go ahead and start it now because I got to do that. You might have to put this back in there. It says oh, open. Yeah. We're still learning. There it is. It says off. You pick which uh, setting. It. And we're going to air fry it. And you could change the temperature up and down if you want. You press there and then change the temperature. But 400. I'm going to leave it on 400. Yeah, and then the time. You press the time if you want more time or less time. Yeah. Like here's the time, then you can go up. See, it's 16, 17. I put it on 30 anyway. Yeah, well, here's 30 minutes. Yeah. And then Push I guess start. you press time again or start. Yeah, there it is. If right. you want to change the temperature, you press temperature and then uh, move this dial. Or the time, you press the time and then move the dial. Yeah. And now it's a preheat, and it'll say preheat here. And then whenever it's ready to uh, put the food in there. It'll say uh, place food or something like yeah. that. So we're just learning too how to use it, but it's a neat thing to have. So, 
Everything's instant anymore, isn't it? As I know me and Christine was talking about and, uh, my aunt, she done passed away now. And uh, she was telling, said, I got me one of those ovens that you just put them in there and push your button and said, it's not like the old ovens now. And um, what she was talking about was a microwave. No, so. <laughs> but yeah, all kinds of newfangled things anymore. Yeah, we just gonna do this real good. And then we'll put them in the, the air fryer here. And we're gonna have us some pork ribs. And these look like they've got a lot of meat on them. Uh, and there's a few different ways that you could do the sauce. There's so many different ingredients that you could put into your sauce, but this just happens to be uh, Mama's recipe. Yeah. This is what I like. You know, if y'all want to try her recipe, then just put all these ingredients that she just showed you in there, and, and that'll you, be Mama's recipe. Yeah, if you want to add your thing to it or whatever you like, you can go ahead and do that. Uh, and Kim, she uploaded a, one of her, it's the same thing as the pork spare ribs, but it's her special recipe maybe a week or so ago, probably two weeks ago, she uploaded her recipe on this channel. You could scroll back on the videos for probably last week or the week before last and you'll see it says my wife's pork spare ribs recipe. If y'all would like to see her recipe. Yeah, things are so much quicker now and faster. Years ago, it took hours to, to do stuff, to fry chicken and whatever. But now, it seems like it just takes minutes to cook a whole meal. There that is. Well, you smell food? Papa's want you. I told him not to be feeding him uh, table scraps. And they uh, been feeding him table scraps. See, it says add, add food. So you pour it out now. So it's fully preheated now. It's ready to add in the whatever you're going to be cooking. Whoops. Pulled it out too far. But anyway, you just uh, put it in here. And you can't uh, layer it. You have to... I don't know if I can put another one in there or not. Yeah, you can't put it on top of each other or the air won't be able to get to it. So you have to... Reckon that's going to be all right? Uh, I think it should. Yeah, situate it to where it's not sitting on top of each yeah, other. And I'll have to put these in later. So there it is. And we're going to put it in here for 30 minutes. Yeah, it'll be 30 minutes and uh, we'll be back with y'all whenever we take it out and y'all see her take it out and cut it and she uh, try it for y'all. But we'll be right yeah. back. Yeah, be right back. We love all of you, and especially Kim, don't we, Corey? Yeah. I know Corey does. <laughs> right, we love y'all. See y'all here in just a minute. All right, we're back now, and uh, everything's done, and we're going to show y'all Mama getting it out now. Just what it look like after it's completely done. It might have cooked a little bit too long because it looks a little burnt, but I'm sure they'll still be really good. This is what it looked like after you take it out. Yep. And it, it cooked for 20 minutes and it said flip it. So she flipped it and she put more of her sauce on it. You'll see in the other part of the video, but yep. it, it'll be connected into this video. Yeah. But she put this on there after she flipped it and then she put it back in for another 10 minutes. Yep. So it was in there for a total of 30 minutes. minutes. Yep. So I want to go ahead and put them in there now. Yeah, and here's the other one. She's going to put the rest of them in there. Have them cook for later. This is what it'll look like after it's done. And if y'all wanted to, y'all could put it on maybe 15 minutes each side so it wouldn't look so yeah. burnt Crispy. like this instead of a 20 minutes on one side. So we'll put these in there. It says it's off. And we're going to do the air fry again. 
and it's got 30 minutes on there. So, and then we hit start. And so, there it goes. It's been preheated because we just took this one out. But I should get me a knife or something, cutting into it. Shit. Hopefully it's done all the way through, it's not just burnt on the outside. Yeah, I know. We'll see here in a minute. Mama's gonna go get a knife and so she can uh, show what it looks like on the inside. Y'all let us know in the comments what y'all wanna see Mama making in the air fryer next or on the stove or baking, whatever y'all wanna see her make next. Just let us know in the comments. And we'll try our best to make it for you. Oh. Well, let's see what they look like. I don't know if it turned over that way or this way or. Up there. Let's try this. That looks perfect on the inside to me. Oh, I can find where you cut it at. Might need a steak knife or something to cut it. Looks done. Don't it? If it's cool, I'd pick it up, take a big bite. <laughs> yeah, but they're real hot. Yeah, they're hot. I'm uh, trying to get a piece of meat off from them. Let's try right here. Yep. That's a big fork. There's a piece of it. Inside of it looks pretty good. It looks perfect, man. Good. Need to try. Yeah, let us know in the comments if y'all try this. And you don't have to have an air fryer to make it either. You can just put it in the oven, bake it in the oven if you have to. Mm -hmm. It's got a lot of meat on it right here. So it's really good. See that steam coming out of there? Yeah, it's done all the way through. This is where you dip, put your hands into it and go to town on it. Yeah. It just seems un American to eat it with like a knife and a fork. You gotta <laughs> grab a hold of it and tear into it. Yeah. You gotta eat it like a piece of chicken. Yeah. After it's fully done. Yeah, this is the way you eat it too. Yeah, this is the American way to eat uh, ribs. And you get it all over you. But now I wouldn't do this in a restaurant, but I'll do it at home. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> good. It's got meat on it too. A lot of meat. Right. But I won't get it all over me. Let y'all see it all over me. Yeah. I probably got it already on me. Give me the paper towel. Uh, I guess we'll go ahead and end the video here because if it gets too long, I won't be able to connect the two parts of the video into one video. I think uh, 15 minutes for each uh, section is the max. It can only uh, have 30 minutes in total and the other one is eight minutes. So 
I guess we'll go ahead and end it here since uh, we're done showing and everything anyways. I hope y'all enjoy the video. And if y'all end up making this, let us know in the comments if you like it or not. And uh, we love y'all. God bless y'all. Make Amen. sure to like and subscribe. And we'll see y'all in the next one. Amen. Love y'all. Take care of yourself this, all this winter and cold and everything. So we'll see you in the next one. Well, love y'all.